If you're looking to see some video game skin, you've come to the right place. Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're looking at skimpy video game outfits that make no sense. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. While we're totally fine with games showing some skin every once in a while, there have been a handful of times where a character's fashion sense has definitely raised a few eyebrows. <laughs> Ada Wong, Resident Evil series. <coughs> Ada, this is getting old. Don't get us wrong, Ada is a classy lady you would meet at a bar or a casino before finding out she's some badass secret agent. However, you'd think she'd be a little more protective when fighting zombies and wear a bulletproof vest or some freaking boots. Instead, she wanders the T-virus infected world wearing skin tight dresses and trench coats. Ada, you're really cool, but this isn't exactly apocalypse ready attire. This is a world where you can get bitten or shot at any given moment. So. It's a wonder how you're still kicking ass after all these years. Neath, Smite. But as the people she sought to protect grew old or sick or died on the battlefield, Neath's compassion forced her to change her calling. The gods and goddesses of Smite may have unique designs to them, but there's a few of them that make us question if their garb is durable enough to handle such vicious attacks. Of them all, Neath is the one that makes us extremely skeptical due to her elegant yet revealing outfit. In Smite, Neath uses her bow to play the role of a ranged physical fighter. Given how fast and nimble Neath is on the battlefield, it's a total enigma how she hasn't had a wardrobe malfunction. Look, we're not saying Neath can't wear that, but when you make someone as revealing as Aphrodite look ready for battle, we gotta wonder if your clothing is suitable for the job. Thanks for watching the Smite God reveal for Neath, Weaver of Fate. Cindy Orem, Final Fantasy XV. Hey there, y'all kept a girl waiting. Now, which one's the prince? Final Fantasy features a number of characters dressed in revealing clothing. However, did anyone else find it incredibly odd how a mechanic can wear something so skimpy? Oh, now I get it. This must be what Papa meant when he said he was gonna teach them boys a lesson. In Final Fantasy XV, Cindy fixes up your car, all while wearing short shorts and leaving her bra exposed. This is without any shadow of a doubt a safety hazard. Like, can you imagine how much oil and grease you have to deal with? Okay, Square, we see what you're doing here. Shame on you. I'd be happy to pay y'all for your services if you're up to the challenge. How about it? Sonya Blade, Mortal Kombat. I guess I'll have to do this the hard way. For as ridiculous as Melina's bandage costume was, we can't help but shift our judgmental gaze upon Sonya Blade. Her outfit is a pretty big problem, especially when you consider the fact that she's supposed to wear it in combat. Just who in their right mind would wear a military vest and nothing else? Judging from the battle damage, neither this nor her alternate outfits are fit for Mortal Kombat's intense and gory fights. Good thing she's fixed it in time for Mortal Kombat 10 and Mortal Kombat 11. Sonya wins. The Saints, Hitman, Absolution. If there was any evidence of the old Hitman series trying too hard to be edgy, it was Hitman Absolution. This was the first and only title to feature a group of gun-toting nuns known as the Saints, and let's be honest, they look pretty ridiculous. While murderous nuns does sound like an interesting concept, the sex appeal goes a little too far with the leather and spandex. Because of this, the saints end up coming off as yet another group of assassins that will only be memorable for its outlandishly ludicrous shtick. Lara Croft, original, Tomb Raider series. Lara Croft was a pretty influential character for her time, showing the world that women can kick just as much ass in video games as men. Still, that isn't to say she didn't have any flaws. Take her choice of attire, for example. 
Most explorers or treasure hunters wouldn't be caught dead wearing that in bug-infested environments like jungles and temples. Did Lara not take into account the possibility of mosquitoes or plants that could poison her on contact? I mean, she should consider herself extremely lucky, or else we'd be getting titles like Tomb Raider, Legend of the Lost Clinic, or Lara Croft and the Temple of Poison Ivy. Perhaps not just yet then. Ivy Valentine, Soul Calibur series. This place shall be your brain. The wardrobe of the Soul Calibur cast ranges from elegant and beautiful to sturdy and bulky. And then there's Ivy, the token sexy fighter of the bunch that sticks out like a sore thumb thanks to her dominatrix-esque attire and proportional body. Proportional is in heavy air quotes. Stage so completed. This is so caliber. Given how little her outfit actually covers, we can't help but ask how in the absolute hell does she fit into that thing? It looks like it'd be a pain in the ass to get out of as much as it would be getting in. Could someone please tell us how that's supposed to defend her from a massive sword? Like, seriously. Stage completed. At last, I can let my tears fall. Strawberry banana outfits. Oni Chen Bara Z2 Chaos. Four of us can do it. In hindsight, most of the outfits on this list were at least stylish or badass in their own way. This, on the other hand, is outright absurd. The Oni Chan Bara series hasn't been one to shy away from erotic costumes, but Z2 Chaos takes it a step further by adding the strawberry banana option. No, this isn't some fruity bikini or any legitimate piece of clothing. Instead, this cosmetic covers up every character's private areas with two tiny strawberries and a banana. No sane person would ever go out fighting butt naked. But whatever to leave little to the imagination, right Onichambara? Who the hell are you? Rachel, Ninja Gaiden series. Okay, we know the Ninja Gaiden series can be just as ridiculous as the Dead or Alive games, sometimes for the wrong reasons. We're fine with Kasumi and Ayane, but Rachel is where this series kind of jumped the shark. Yeah! What is this? A dominatrix beating on ninjas and demonic beasts? It's one thing to have scantily clad fighters like the ladies of Dead or Alive, but isn't this too much on the nose? Sure, the tight leather helps her stay agile, but Rachel, is it really worth looking like you're ready for a BDSM party? Check out these other great clips from Mojo Plays, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos.